Now, the cabinet has approved the proposal to raise the FDI cap as far as insurance goes to 49%. We saw that coming in just a few moments earlier. While the market is cheering this, there could be some hurdles. The DIPP's original note had come out with riders that may still slow foreign insurance companies from putting in fresh capital. Let's head across to Priyal, who has the details on that. Priyal, you know, run us through these kind of riders that you're picking up and, you know, what sort of hurdles could there possibly be going forward? Well, uh, definitely as far as the uh, FDI hike to 49% is something that the industry has been looking for more than a decade now. But, and the, it is a big but in terms of uh, the issue with regard to voting rights. Uh, now, uh, there was, of course, as Bloomberg TV India had reported, uh, that the DIPP note, uh, which was uh, to be, uh, which pointed out that, uh, th that these, this increase in 49% will not come with voting rights. Uh, in fact, in the budget speech that the finance minister gave, he pointed out uh, that this increase in of, of, uh, from 26% to 49% uh, will be with full Indian management control uh, of, uh, and, of course, the approval of FIPB. So the big question remained as to how will FIPB uh, interpret the management control. Uh, again, Bloomberg TV India reported uh, by uh, and what we understood from the sources uh, in the finance ministry that they will go by what the company's laws say, which means that if at all the foreign investor or the foreign partner of the insurance company is looking to increase its stake from 26% to 49%, it would well be without uh, the voting rights and could well be uh, without much management control. As for the company's law, it says that they cannot... Um, the full management control uh, as defined is really uh, the one which will be looking in terms of who will constitute on the board on the major business decisions and thereof. Now that will be a key uh, stumbling block as far as uh, you know uh, insurers looking to up their stake there with no voting rights. That's one. The other part of course is that whether this will open the gates in terms of insurance companies listing which is also uh, and uh, much uh, awaited given that no insurance company in India is listed so far. In that regard, the question of composite, uh, uh, you know, cap is something that is being a big question of concern, whether uh, this uh, this increase would include FDI and FII, and if that be so, uh, whether the listing would really go in the current system, given the uh, uh, given the entire listing norms, etc., whether, uh, and if at all, 51% is what the Indian companies uh, or Indian partners will have to be at. So, these are the stumbling blocks uh, uh, that really needs uh, to, we need to get a clear clarity. We've just heard that the uh, increase has happened, but we still have to understand what, what is the management control and if it comes with uh, voting rights. Until that time, uh, there will uh, there is a limited um, option of uh, really dollars uh, coming into the country.